Hey everyone. So don't mind me look like crap now. I just, um, <sighs> I haven't really done anything since Shiro passed. I just did my makeup because I had to film, but I haven't um, done my hair as you can see. There's been so much craziness um, with me going to appointments at the hospital and with Shiro passing two weeks. It's been two weeks today, which is crazy. And I'm still super sad. It's impossible to make the perfect video or give him the honor that I wanted to. Oh, Fitz is here now. But I just thought to make a little memory of this. I actually ended up getting Shiro a private cremation after his passing. Um, it's just like when you're grieving, it's so hard to make a choice. I had got a casket made, they're hard to find. So we got from this company, it's actually really nice, but I didn't, I wasn't gonna get it fast. <sighs> Even though I did like the fast delivery, it was a weekend and stuff. And I was, I had time to think about it and find a cremation place that did it completely private, which is the only way I wanted it. I only want Shiro's ashes. And then once I found a place that was really helpful, I decided to do that, but I'd already gotten a casket and we'd already started big, um, digging like a grave and we have like a memorial and like a shrine to Shiro in the back. Well, I decided that I'm gonna do, make the casket like a memory box. I have some of his fur. I don't have the ashes back yet, but I'm gonna keep those beside my bed. But um, I've been talking a lot to Shiro, praying and stuff since he passed, but yeah, I'm just working on this memorial. So this is the casket. I just have some stuff on top of there, but and I'll show the shrine after. Yeah, we did outside, but forget how this opens. Oh, there we go. So it's pretty big. It's actually quite nice. Um, smells like wood, it's fresh, everything. So I went to um, Staples like the same weekend after he passed and I wanted to print some photos to put in the casket. So many pictures and I'm so happy I do. But there's still so many I wanna print. But like I printed a bunch for myself <laughs> while we were there. We just printed as much as we could and some doubles. So I gave some to my family. Ones of them was Shiro. There's just so many good ones. Um, I honestly miss him so much. That was his seventh birthday. It was like one of the first pictures I took of him. Still putting some in this like memory box casket. My dad gave me his vacuum packer machine. So I don't want the pictures to get ruined. This is the one of my grandpa. Shiro actually passed on May 11th. I think it was a Thursday. The next day was the anniversary of my grandpa's passing. Like he had died a year before, just one day difference. And right before my birthday too, so very, very sad. The toy that's in this picture, I actually vacuum packed it. Shiro used to love toys um, when he was a puppy. And then he just grew out of them and then stopped caring. <laughs> Fitz doesn't even really like toys that much either. So, got some of me. Him and his best buddy brother, Fitz. Another one of me, Michael. Of course, I'm gonna put me in the front and center. <laughs> I honestly feel like Shira was my soulmate. You ever have like an animal who just like gets you? He knew when I was sad, like, knew when I was sick. Very em emotionally into it. This one's going in. I love this picture of us. <sighs> My mom with Shiro. It's a very old picture. My dad with Shiro, another old picture. Shiro's lived with me in every house. When I lived with my mom, I got him against everyone's wishes. Then my house had a flood. He moved with me to my dad's apartment. And he was just a puppy. And they have their dog, Sawyer. 
They were best friends though. But Shiro was crazy back then as a puppy. Then eventually, like I moved back to my mom's. My dad got another house up north. We spent a lot of time up there. Then eventually I met Michael and we would start spending a lot of time at his apartment, bring Shiro all the time. And Michael and I got our first apartment together and Shiro and I lived there together. From there, during our last little bit living there, we got fits and then we moved to our other apartment. And then we got this house. So Shiro got a year in this house. That's our first apartment, Shiro. And then this was in Hamilton, but before we moved here, everyone knows how much I adored Shiro and how he was my bestie. I wrote him a long letter, took pictures of the letter, and I've vacuum packed this and put it in here too. So Michael's gonna put this in. It says best friend. And of course we're gonna put a rosary in. I'll definitely show the shrine outside and when I get the ashes as well. So I just got Shiro's ashes back today and I'm, I think they're so cute. They're gonna go beside my bed so he can always be with me. The company who did his private cremation was really great. They were really helpful because um, I was so sad during this time. So they made everything really easy and they took good care of my baby. So this is blue. I picked the little blue one because he was such a boy. And I feel like that's just his color. And we're going to bury the um we're going to bury the coffin that I got. Going to bury it today. We have a nice little shrine set up in the backyard, so it's very beautiful. This is the beautiful little Shiro shrine by the pond. Michael's made the hole and there's his lovely memory box all oh, some beautiful memories of shiro god you brought us together you gave us so much love you'll never be forgotten we pray for you we think of you all the time we love you to death and beyond pretty angel there for him Fitz, what's happening? Fitz, you look like a guardian angel. We will be reunited until then. Hold my head close. Soothe my tears and grant me strength to recall that love itself can never die. Right, Fitz? We're never going to let our love die for this year. Amen. Um, Fitz and I will miss Shiro so much. And... Even though I talk to him every day and I feel Shiro's presence in our home, he will be missed. Right, Fitzy? The best dog ever. Honestly, one of a kind.